You know, as I said yesterday, one of the things that took place within uh, these revivals, uh, the, these historic revivals that uh, took place that we look at today and just see how God moves so mightily, uh, the, the world was wicked, the world was vile. You even look at the day of Pentecost, and on the day of Pentecost, who was it that was there? Uh, on the day of Pentecost, it was the very ones that crucified Jesus. Peter looked at them and said, you're the ones that crucified him, but guess what? God raised him up from the grave. And so we look at the world today, the world is extremely extraordinarily wicked. And we could look at that in a negative uh, context, but I want you to understand the world today is prime for revival, is prime for a great awakening. And we need to have the heart of Jesus. We need to have the heart that Jesus had. Jesus said in the, in the uh, back, uh, book of Matthew, Matthew uh, chapter 23 and verse 37, uh, Jesus cried out. He had compassion for the, the people, the Bible says, and he cried out, Jerusalem, 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 who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I wanted to gather your children together the way a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, yet you were unwilling. And so that's the heart of Jesus. And that needs to be our heart as well. And we need to pray that uh, these people would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Yes, they're wicked. Yes, they're vile. But Jesus died for them. Does Je Jesus love their ways? No. And we shouldn't love their ways either. But they need to come to Jesus. You shouldn't expect a lost person to act any different uh, than a lost person. What do you need to do? You need to pray for that person to be saved. You're having a revival meeting coming up? Invite them. Encourage them to come. Go pick them up and go bring them. If people look down their nose at them and say, well, what in the world are those people doing, doing here? Well, they need to be revived as well. So pray for those individuals. But bring them under the preaching of the word of God. Invite them. Compel them to come. And and, uh, you know, be brokenhearted over them, just as Jesus was brokenhearted uh, over them. And, and so they're, they're, they're like sheep without a shepherd. Jesus had compassion uh, for them, and we too need to have compassion for them. When we have that compassion for them, that love for them, you know, God will use that to draw them in because they will recognize that and they will respond to that. They'll hear the preaching of the word of God, and we need to pray that they will get saved. Would you pray that God would draw in the most heathenistic of heathens and that they will be saved, that their hearts would be set ablaze for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and that God will use them as a powerful testimony. If he could save them, he could save anybody, and he sure can. So would you pray for that?